while uh, uh, nothing's really been going on anymore. No, not much really to talk yeah, you've about. You've been up to anything? Um, where, where shall we start tonight? Because shall we? I mean, should we start with the wedding? Should we start with the releases? Should we start to the end, impending doom of everything as we know it? Or should we start with a corker of a match, main event, or questionable booking? Like, what, where, where, which order are we doing everything tonight in? Yeah, there's a lot to talk about. Mm, in there the is. World of, of us here. Yeah. Uh, on a. Per, like, this is an NXT podcast, mm. and it seems like every time we make a joke about uh, someone losing a match, then they. That we should just not stop saying people. We names. called it. Well, you called it last week. I feel like I, I feel like we we've, we've been and saying the same thing every week, and it keeps happening to certain people. But. And that uh, I, I quite enjoyed tonight's show, but I did have an anxiety watching it because every time we joked yeah. this could be a loser leaves town match, yeah. and then you go, oh, oh but it, it could. Be. Yeah, it's probably the name of the episode. Uh, <laughs> loser leaves town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean. Right off the bat, uh, we'll get to NXT, we'll get to everything, but right off the bat, I mean, you mentioned Bobby Fish being released, mm. but uh, there, I mean, hey, I'm a big, big, big fan of Bobby Fish through the years, he, did, he was part of Undisputed Era, man, like, pour one out for Bobby yeah. Fish, yeah, Red respect. Dragon, but there's someone who's a bit bigger on my list. Yes. The elephant in the room here. Uh, yeah. This is some big breaking news. Yeah, we've been, we've been waiting for the return, and unfortunately... It never came. It never came. But to us, he'll always be the, the finest. finest. That's right. Kona Reeves. Kona Reeves has gone. By WWE. So, uh, all I know is we never, we never got to see that character make its return, this comeback. And I know he's been, he, was, he was working hard and like doing all this stuff. on his. He was injured. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. That is kind of the biggest shot. If you listen to this show you, from, from years of this show we've talked about this dude and we've been in this dude's corner mm. we are team kona here so he's gone so maybe we'll see him somewhere else so what i think we're saying is what i'm trying best to say match ever <laughs> kona reeves let's do it what i'm saying is uh you know he's got a 30-day complete cause mm. maybe after those 30 days he'll be interested in talking to people that's all i can say about okay that. that's all i can say about that but pour one out for the finest. You know we love that. I can't wait to see a, uh, what is it, the Samoan drop? No, the Hawaiian drop. Hawaiian drop. In AEW. <laughs> That's it. Kona. What would his, he's got to change his name, I think. I don't think it's his real name. Uh, he's, is he Noah? Noah. Is his name Noah? Noah Reeves. That would be sweet, uh, too. What is his name? The finest. And he's always going to be the finest. And don't you ever damn forget it here. Uh, we like to point out. There's been a lot though of these releases. What else? What else? Who else was in these? There was basically uh, 205 lot. I know Jake Atlas. Jake Atlas. Like man, I'm. I know he he had a bit of a nice little run on the indies. So I'm kind of down to see him maybe go to AEW. I know we're just gonna say this about everyone, but literally, I'm a big fan of Jungle Boy, and they got some history between the two mm-hmm. and their boys and stuff. So I would really like to see him be able to t- to tie it up over there. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I know Mercedes Martinez. Mercedes Martinez, um, yeah, I th- I think she's someone who I th- I feel you could say this about everyone, yeah. but uh, Mercedes Martinez could really help AEW. I think okay. with that division, uh, I think that women's division still needs something, and uh, maybe a very solid veteran like her would be good. We've seen Serena Deeb's worked out there, you know, yeah, and I put put her in the same kind of category, so. Um, she's someone I, I could see being okay. Uh, another one, Bronson Reed. Surprising. Yeah, big big kind of surprise. Really surprising. Colossal surprise. Um, he had he was rumored for a call up. There were he was showing up and doing dark matches on Raw, um, and then kind of showed up again on NXT. He seemed to have his goodbye. He lost the title, which we normally see people do before moving up. Then he shows up again and has one random match against Adam Cole. Um, it's like it's like everything just fell apart real quick. I yeah, I, I just figure maybe he went went up and Vince didn't like what he saw, didn't Weird. just didn't get it, so came back and then they were like, cut that guy. Damn. Uh, very Damn. odd. Uh, Tyler Rust. Yeah. Diamond Mine. Yeah, kind of weird, um, considering that story. Uh, from what we've heard, it's Paul Levesque. Uh, has had no say in any of this. This has just been right. uh, Vince and like Pritchard and Laurinaitis and stuff. 
getting rid. Jean Paul Levesque? Uh, Jean Paul Levesque. Um, but yeah, Tyler Rust, I can't say I really saw it with him. Um, I can't say he's going to be missed, particularly from me. Like, not shitting on the guy, but, yeah, yeah. you know, it's not like overly surprising for me. It's just weird because this diamond mine thing's just started. Leon Ruff? Yeah, that's disappointing. He had a good run. Yeah, I think. they made they made the best out of that. Like he was handed the not handed he was given these little times to like glimmers of things and he just like knocked it out the park like all the time. He was a champ. Yeah, he was the champ. That's 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 weird. Bronson Reed was just champ. Yeah. Leon Ruff was just two champ, North American like, champions yeah. from the last year. It's just weird. It's like the long term storytelling would have been Ruff coming back to attack Swerve or something like along those lines or joining uh, like something anything. Yeah. They never played. They he just is just unfortunately gone. like yeah this and Reed too. It's like what like why? Just weird. So the morale continue. They continue to release people and like the morale here. I still blame Jeff Hardy. It's all <laughs> a butterfly effect of our champ losing to him. Uh, I don't know. It's. It's very weird, and of course, we're an NXT-based podcast. It's like we we see all the messages from everyone this week. By the way, on at Up Next Podcast, yeah. From with these releases, I know there's uh, there's a lot of talk of NXT at the moment, and morale is low. Um, but I still enjoyed tonight's show. But there was this weird anxiety thing with everyone. But Stink. I can't say any of these people that have been released. Yeah, I like some of them. I can't say they're moving the needle for me. Bronson Reed is probably the highest prospect on them uh, of the list, but I can't say I really tune into NXT to watch Bronson Reed either. And maybe that's harsh, but uh, I think everyone's speaking like it's the end of the world. And mm. it's like, oh, okay, Tyler Rust, you know? The golden era of NXT is gone. I guess, I don't know. The golden era of ty- <laughs> those great Tyler Russ, Jake Atlas matches. Like, come on. I, I'm, I'm, I understand people are like, oh, it seems like all it's going to change. It's not going to become this indie-based yeah. show with all the cool talent, with the good matches quality that you're into, that indie style. We're not doing that anymore. We're doing what we used to do. We're used to, we used to build superstars. We used to build Roman Reigns. We used to build all these people. We know. We do was next on our mm. Patreon. We've been watching NXT from 2012 we're like mid 2013 or past mid 2013 era and it's like that era was this developmental that had a little bit of good wrestling sprinkled it was entertaining it. it had storylines and everything just like NXT does but it's still it's like more of a developmental it's disappointing because we've seen it grow like yeah. NXT was enjoyable then we enjoy going back yeah. watching these shows as you were saying but we've seen it grow and grow and grow uh, to selling out arenas and stuff yeah. and and to see it potentially going back is disappointing but also you say it every week like a lot of people do it's not the cool show anymore yeah even with this top indie talent even with Cole O'Reilly your Garganos your Champers all of these it's like no something else is cool so people don't really talk about NXT anymore so it's not doing that thing it used to do it's not it went from being developmental to being out indying the indies now it's not out indying the indies no not at all so maybe we should go back we we know vince vince likes that model he wants you to stand out in an airport where people look and go oh who is this guy and if we're kind of worried about a johnny gargano and adam cole moving to the main roster because how they'll be used because of their size and this is developmental. What purpose is it serving? Yeah. I, I, ho- I, I mean, it's just a shame because it has grown. And if you've been following NXT for like the past few years, like we have, it's like it grew to the point where it sold out arenas. Mm. Thousands of people in these arenas. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, one of the best shows I've ever been to are takeover shows. Yeah. And it's like, that's, it's just, it's, it's weird. Uh, it's too bad. It does, I, I want to, I in, the, in the back of my head, be like, hey, I hope... Uh, this was Triple H didn't have anything to do with this, and mm. hopefully, he, I feel like he's unfortunately just has to let this happen. Whereas in my ba- in my head, I know he's like, "Are you kidding me? Like, what do you like? Yeah. Why would you tear down what we've built here? Like, mm. it's become something so much bigger than that." So it is as a fan, a little like it'll oh, be man. it'll be interesting. I I can't see it being a full, complete sure, takeover. Sure, pardon yeah. the pun of just all these big meatheads. I think you are still going to have your great 
wrestlers there. And maybe, I don't know, maybe your Gargano's champers, do they want to stay there? But that they're going to need people like that, these veterans, to help if they're going to try and make these big guys good, you know? Yeah. You can't have it all completely green talent. And NXT never really had that. They were always mixing in like a Tyson kid going down and stuff like that, you know? Well, I'll just fantasy book in my head another thing where I want to see Adam Cole be with the elite. I want to see Johnny. I want to see Champa. I want to see all these wrestlers that were I really liked in NXT. That I liked because they were good Having wrestlers. Having one more run. Yeah, just go outside. back and yeah. go to that show. The Rampage needs people on that show. They're gonna looks like they got brands if they like. Yo, how much? How much? How deep are Tony Khan's pockets? Go from one con to the other con. It's the wrath of Khan. I don't know, man. I just want to see good wrestling. And you know yeah. what? If you watch NXT, like you said, hey, block out all the other things. If you pretend Jeff Hardy never beat Cross, you don't. If you don't watch Raw, you never knew it happened. Tonight's show still had some good stuff. It had some bad stuff, but like the wrestling, I, I always say I like the match quality. And tonight's main event. I definitely don't think delivered. I'd have watched today's sh- like. Yeah. If you could block out all the news, yeah, I yeah. don't think I'd have watched today's show and gone, hmm, that was a weird one. It still felt like yeah, NXT yeah. for me. It still felt good. Yeah. Good with some weird things that I'm not as keen on but yeah and overall it, I didn't feel the quality was any less this week we're all we're all fans of this and we you know it's really unfortunate when people lose their their jobs especially maybe maybe people though are happy that this has happened to them and I and I hope that they they do the best with what they can do outside of WWE it's not the be all end all anymore no in this business so I am genuinely excited to see where some of these people go because I know they will land somewhere and probably get to prove themselves uh, so I'm, I'm super excited in that in that regards. I'm also super excited because uh, Kona Reeves did reply to us and saying we will be doing uh, a little bit of a chit chat in under 30 days because uh, the, the Twitter he just he just tweeted. <laughs> what he just tweeted? Uh, you you messaged him time ago. I went right to the source because he opened his DMs, but <laughs> and now he's publicly uh, said we will do a, a talk soon. Says Kona Reeves. Excellent. You heard it here. The finest and the BDE. Damn it. He loved the fact that we had a Kona Reeves battle royal at our last, uh, what was it, Up Next Mania? Yes. Like, he retweeted and everything. He was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. So, you know, he's a big fan of us, and we're a big fan of him. The 